Hi there, welcome. We're with Kevin Arrington from Sevier County Events, and he's the man that's in charge of organizing all of the events in our area. And he's world famous for the events that he organizes, and one of the biggest ones, the ATV Jamboree. This year he started a little twist on that. He's going to try it, see how it works. It's called an ATV Rendezvous. So we want to talk to him about that, and I'll let him get us started and tell us all about the Rendezvous, Kevin, and where well, will it be? Well, the Rendezvous uh, is going to be held uh, in Salina, uh, the north end of Sevier County, um, July 20th through 22nd. So it's going to be a little smaller event. Uh, there's just going to be uh, a cap of 150 machines. Um, and then we offer guided rides over the two days of the event, uh, most specifically uh, to the north of Salina into the, uh, or the north and east of Salina into the Gooseberry Trail system. Uh -huh. um, we, we've realized over the, the last number of years that the Gooseberry Trail system is absolutely beautiful and it offers some riding that uh, people throughout the country are going to love to come and enjoy. And so we thought uh, instead of you know, trying to add to the ATV Jamboree in Richfield by uh, doing more rides up this direction. We thought we would just try a, 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 an event up here and allow those folks to come into Salina, uh, allow them to uh, use the hotels and restaurants that are in Salina, and then access sure. the trail system right from, from, the, from the town. Well, it's an awesome idea, and I really like it because Lorraine and I have rode thousands of miles up Salina Canyon, and we just really enjoy those trails, and there's so many. How many rides would you have, and where would uh, do you know the specifics of where those might be? We do. We, we we just finished printing up the registration material for the rendezvous, and uh, we'll start mailing those out and taking them to the outdoor shows that we're going to in the next uh, six weeks. But uh, uh, we offer six rides each day, and uh, there are two advanced rides, two intermediate rides, and two be beginner rides. So feel free to come out with the entire family and enjoy. Uh, they'll be guided so that uh, folks will, won't have to worry about getting lost out there on the trail system. And um, it'll be an opportunity to, uh, uh, to really uh, get out and enjoy the land. So. Very good. You mentioned three types, beginners, intermediate, and advanced. Can you tell us the difference between those? And if you were uh, parents of smaller children, beginner trail or intermediate? Yeah. And who's the advanced riders? Are they the extreme riders? <laughs> well, and for years we've, uh, with the ATV Jamboree in Ridgefield, we've we've uh, tried to identify each of those rides in one of those categories, and it's probably the most difficult thing to do because we have uh, riders, obviously, from uh, the central portion of the United States that have been riding for many, many years uh, on some fairly flat ground, uh -huh. who feel like uh, because of the time that they've put on their machines, they're advanced riders, and they get out here and they've just never seen these types of trails and these types of hills and switchbacks, and so uh, it's difficult to know exactly how to uh, uh, to identify a ride. Sure. But uh, as a general rule, advanced rides are those that uh, either because of their distance or terrain uh, require uh, riders who have, have ridden their machines a lot uh, and have been in this kind of uh, terrain before. Um, intermediate rides are those that uh, they may have a few switchbacks here and there, but they're not going to get too steep and they're not going to get into anything too rugged. And the beginner rides, uh, for the most part, are on the logging and mining roads that we have okay. available here. And so All if you've right. got a, a small child or uh, you know a 12 or 13 year old that's coming out that maybe hasn't had the type of experience that uh, that he or she needs, then a beginner ride maybe that first day would be the best bet. Just kind of see how it goes. Well, very good. And then uh, go from there. All right. I wanted to talk a little bit about safety on these trails. A lot of people worry that ATVs are very dangerous and harmful. There's been a lot of talk about that lately, but here in Utah we have a safety class that actually gives someone who's very well instructed the opportunity to teach a class and, and uh, pass those who meet the requirements with a certificate called an ATV driver's license. Yep. And, uh, and those certificates are available to anyone eight and older who are riding ATVs. I took the class just a few years ago and was amazed by some of the things that I learned in terms of how to ride and how to 
side hill and how to go over these, you know, that type of thing. And it just amazed me what I what I learned after having been a writer for many many years. Um, now, if you're between the ages of eight and sixteen, when you get a driver's license, right, you're required to have that course uh, when you're out on the uh, on your ATV, and it's offered uh, here in Sevier County numerous times over the course of the summer, almost every Saturday. You can you can find a course being offered uh, somewhere here. Do you know of a contact number of who they call to find out about that class? We didn't talk about that ahead of time. So. Um, Fred Christensen, who works for uh, Coca-Cola locally, is uh -huh. one of the instructors. Um, I have to look up his number. Well, that's okay. But uh, but he's always willing to, to put together a course if needs be to make sure that people are safe. They're always welcome to drop us an email, too, if they have questions on things like that. So that would be good. To register for this rendezvous, then, that's going to take place in the Salina area, how does a person go about that? A couple yeah. of options. The easiest way is uh, via the website. Okay. And uh, it's linked to our ATV Jamboree site. It's uh, atvjam.com. And there is a link right there on the front page to the Salina Rendezvous. And uh, there, again, we've got all the background information and the registration materials, and folks can just register and pay online. And then we also have the uh, hard copy of the registration material that's available now that we can mail out to folks and uh, deliver to them. So well, very good. Well, we look forward to that ride, and we hope it turns out to be a good thing and that it happens every year. I think it might catch on and be a big thing. Well, and you know, it may take some time. Yeah. But uh, we'll keep hammering away at it. So register for that ride now by going to atvjam.com and looking for the rendezvous that occurs in what? July, July, July 20 through 22. Yeah, that's a hot time of the year in the valleys, but the mountains are just wonderful, and you can really experience some great scenery up there that time of the year. Thank you, Kevin, for being with us today. Thank you. We appreciate that.